Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Gemini. How are you guys, Gemini? Oops, there we go. How are you? Oh, the lovers. Okay, there you are, Gemini. Maybe you have a choice in love here, or you're in love with somebody. Oh, you may be ending something with someone here, but transforming. You may have ended a situation and you're moving towards another person, making a choice. Or you're falling in love with somebody, plain and simple, and something is transforming here. Beautiful. Gemini could be ending something with a Scorpio or moving towards one. Uh, we have, yeah, some emotional fulfillment. You're transforming towards some emotional fulfillment and happiness, or you have another person coming towards you. Uh, they could be another Gemini. They could be a Scorpio. I see happiness. I see some a reason to celebrate here. Moving away after some kind of ending. Yeah, you've got someone who wants to talk to you. Someone's thinking about you. They're shining a light on a situation, their feelings, their emotions. Someone's making a choice. Ooh, I think someone's leaving somebody behind here to come towards you. There's something ending. Uh, but it's transforming. There's this beautiful new beginning. Yeah, there's the devil energy. I think you got someone who's thinking about you a lot. Uh, I see a Capricorn energy. So someone who's, there could be someone who's jealous. Maybe you've ended things and you're moving on to someone else and they're jealous. This is maybe somebody who wasn't sure of their feelings or they didn't communicate something. You could be ending something with this novice, somebody who's not telling the truth. You could be moving towards someone who you connect with, someone on the same page. Uh, there's this energy of the two of cups to me is two people who connect emotionally. Okay, I think you've got someone who's kind of shining a light on something. They're kind of, this is what it's telling me. They're literally looking in the mirror. Um, this is somebody who's, uh, very focused on money finances. There could be some kind of jealousy. Somebody could be ending an unhealthy situation or just a time in their life. Uh, this is someone who's making a choice here. I think someone's fantasizing here a little bit. Uh, I feel someone's about to make a choice. It could be you. It could be this person. So yeah, there's a new beginning. Someone's you, Some of you have options. You have a new person. Someone's fantasizing about starting something with you. Oh, you could have someone who's jealous, though, if you're moving away from another. <laughs> yeah, so we definitely have, yeah. So I feel someone has some kind of regrets and remorse. Uh, someone is feeling something is coming to an end. Someone's trapped in their head, uh, I feel. This is someone who's regretting something from their past. Maybe something was exposed, I don't know. But it feels positive. It feels like you're moving towards something positive. Or it's this person who's making a choice. Someone may have been keeping a secret. They may have had other options. Maybe they were confused. Uh, I feel this is some. It's a little bit toxic and unhealthy, possibly. But I don't always see it this way. This is someone who's focused on money and finances as well. You can see someone is working very hard. They're in their head. There's kind of some kind of obsession, fantasizing about a decision, a choice to start something. Someone regrets not starting something. Maybe when they had the opportunity, they. If you're moving away, they may be regretting it. Someone's reminiscing. They're in their head thinking. Uh, this is somebody who wants another opportunity. Someone failed to recognize something is what it's telling me. Uh, yeah, so we've got this stability. Uh, this is someone who wasn't sure. See, this is someone who wasn't sure. Uh, I feel they're looking at this energy, shining a light on safety, security, stability, whether you're the right person. They're trying to make some kind of choice or decision. This is someone who sees the possibilities. I think someone's ending a situation with someone who... Somebody who they feel isn't, um, doesn't have their back, okay? Uh, I think somebody wants you back. Uh, they have some kind of regrets here to do with their past. Or they're just reminiscing. Somebody who could be regretting not having children, too. Um... Yeah, you got someone in their head here stressing out. I think somebody wants another opportunity. Somebody wants you back is what I kind of feel. 
but we'll see. Make sure this person does have your back, that there's somebody who will uh, build you up. Oh, yeah. So you got someone thinking here. Ooh. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Definitely Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This is two people here. This is about two people connecting, being on the same page, sharing their feelings, emotions. Uh, I think you got someone who's crazy about you. I think somebody here is making a decision uh, to start something. Something is becoming illuminated, possibly because of their past. But this is that reminiscing in their head, can't stop thinking. This is somebody who's definitely... Oof, a little worry and stress here. Yeah, see, somebody regrets this, their choice in love, their path, the things that they've chosen. They may have chose the wrong person. Uh, I feel this is someone who, um, some of you have a new crush too. Some of you aren't going to repeat mistakes of the past. I, I'm going to be honest, I feel some of you are ending a situation so let's see what this lovers is about, Gemini. Yeah, you want love. You're about to make a choice, I think, to put an end to something. You're moving towards some more emotional fulfillment. Or like I said, somebody's headed in your direction. Somebody financially stable, very practical, grounded. This is somebody who will have your back. This is somebody who's looking. They see you that way as a partner. This could be a friendship, okay? Somebody who's a friend. Very much focused on their money. There's no doubt there. But they're seeing the possibilities. Uh, they're making a choice. Oh my goodness. Tell me about this lovers. Why is this here? Whoops, there we go. Yeah, so there's a Taurus energy. This is about tradition, belief, behavior, the way someone conducts themselves. Someone's making a choice. They're thinking about marriage and commitment, maybe past choices. So somebody with a strong financial foundation. So I feel this is something very traditional. Somebody doesn't have faith in somebody. They're moving away, ending a situation with someone they don't have faith in. They may already they may be married to someone. They could be somebody could be getting a divorce. Uh, they're not getting that emotional fulfillment, but you see they're moving towards that. Someone's moving away. Uh, someone's moving away from a situation. Uh, this is to do with their belief tradition, how they're now conducting themselves. This is somebody who's using that power they have to move very quickly. They're headed in your direction. They I see a Scorpio, a Cancer energy. Yeah, I can see this energy, some cancer energy. Some of you are turning your back. Some of you, it's you, possibly, or it's them heading your way. Somebody wants love. Someone's gaining that strength and confidence. But there's a lack in the past, you see. there's a, some. I think you're moving on here, and someone's regretting it. And if it's not you moving on, it's them. So you know. So I do see some kind of offer, some kind of communication. I think someone is thinking of seeing you as a partner. Uh, I think that I it looks to me like they're ending something. Someone's about to make a choice to do with commitment, marriage, a financial foundation. This is someone who has everything they need. They have a strong financial foundation. Uh, they may own a business. They may work in your community. So someone who's shining that light to communicate. They're looking at this energy. You see, I love this. Yeah, you've got someone who's thinking about love, making a choice in love. Ooh. I, I feel like it's them, but this could be somebody who feels you're moving away. You're offering your cup to someone else. They see you as strong and capable. Um, using that strength and that power you have to move towards something better. But you see how... It, it, this is interesting because I feel as though as you're moving away, this person's coming in. And I think we've got a person who's, this is someone who definitely works a lot. They're very focused on their finance, their future, okay? Very much so. So they're very, I think this is somebody who kind of likes to look into the future. They like to be prepared. Uh, somebody who I feel maybe feels more prepared now. Um, but I think this person, if you are moving away, this person's obsessed, Okay. Yeah, see, there's that energy. This is somebody who's setting themselves free from another person. This is someone who's planning success. They likely get a lot of attention because they're successful. But to get the attention they want, they need to come towards you and give you the attention you need, you see. 
Oh my goodness, yeah, there's some kind of truth, some kind of an epiphany, sort of, sort of a light bulb going off. Someone's coming to tell you the truth here. I think this is someone who is crazy about you. <laughs> And I think this person's, I'm going to tell you, they're crazy about you, but I feel as though they're someone who, I feel like maybe it's someone who's kind of holding back something at some point because they needed to learn something. They need to do some kind of thinking. Um, tell me about the seven. I need a few more cards here. I don't want to go off in the wrong direction. A lot of scenarios. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. There we go. Yeah, so there's that communication. This could be you, it could be them. So I'm just going to read it as them coming towards you. You flip it. But I see this Princess of Pentacles. This is looking at the offer, the seed. Uh, there's something here that they're telling you, some kind of truth and success. This is someone who may have felt, I, I feel like this could be you moving away because you didn't feel, you know, it took a lot of strength. Um to find that bravery to move away from somebody. Maybe they didn't want to commit or maybe they had a choice. You may be choosing someone, but I think this person's coming to see a truth. Something's going to be expressed in a communication. You're going to look at this in a very um, grounded and practical manner here. You're going to look at this very carefully. Uh, you're going to take your time, okay? Make sure everything is exposed, but this is a new beginning. Someone wants to start something with you. Oh, yeah. This is someone who has some kind of regrets or worry from their past. This is someone who's kind of trapped in a habit. Um, this ego got in the way here as well. Tell me about the sun. Yeah, see, this is a decision to express themselves. It could be a reconciliation. There's a judgment. This is your decision. Look at it carefully. Make sure everything is illuminated. It's out in the open. And I think they're making a decision here too there i see some libra energy uh, to start something to express themselves something about the past they may have crushed on you in the past and that's someone who just didn't tell you okay they may have been thinking about you for a long time so i see that capricorn energy is very strong here and so is taurus tell me about the chalice six of chalices why is this here could be someone who has never had children but I feel there's a regret for not connecting emotionally, not kind of recognizing that two of cups. It may have been, maybe you had a friendship with this person. Yeah, so this is someone who's definitely weighing the pros and the cons. I feel this is making a decision. This is someone who has a ten tendency to procrastinate a little. They have a tendency to get up in their head. But there's a decision, a judgment to express themselves to start something with you. I uh, feel they have some regrets. Maybe they had a choice between two. They weren't sure what they wanted, possibly, because they're looking at that. They're shining a light upon that energy. This is someone who probably didn't tell you the truth. They were crazy about you. Um, maybe they felt this couldn't be successful. Tell me about the six of wands. This is someone who gets a lot of attention, okay? This is someone who gets a lot of attention from people. Um this is someone who's setting themselves free from someone. Could be just setting themselves free from this energy, making a choice to come in and speak a truth that they're crazy about you. That's what I feel. Six of staves. Why is this here? A bit of false victory in the past. Oops. Six of staves. This one wants to come out. Oh, king and queen of pentacles. There we go. Yeah, I feel as though, I, I you know, I'm going to tell you, this person sees, I think this person's in the past seen themselves successful with you, but I think their ego got the best of them. I think this person's crazy about you thinking you're giving your attention to others. I don't think you are, actually. Um, wow, Gemini. This could be you, this could be them, but I see the King and Queen of Pentacles. I think we got two people who are on the same page. I think this could be someone who's a friend. They see you as grounded, practical. They actually see you as marriage material. They're coming in to tell you the truth. I think you got someone who's been thinking about you for a long time, but I think they held back this truth. 
I think they're uh, going to tell it to you too. And I think you're going to look at this. You see that offer, that seed. There's going to be some emotional fulfillment. They're going to express themselves, expose everything. But it's your decision. You may have a choice between two people. You may be kind of not so sure at this point. Somebody here may have children. If you got a choice, somebody may not. You see? Something to do with that. Yeah, it's making a decision. Who's the right person? Who's the one? Someone may have been making a choice between you and someone else or they were procrastinating here. Yeah, this is someone who wasn't sharing their feelings. They were keeping them to themselves, drinking their own tears. This could be yourself as well, kind of holding back here. I, I'm going to tell you, I feel as though some of you have a choice between two. You're kind of going back and forth comparing two people. Somebody may have children. Maybe you're not sure they're the one. Um, or they weren't sure you were. But I think this person speaking a truth. There was a lack of clarity. There's something they didn't tell you. And I think they're headed your way. I like this energy. You, you, I think this person is... Uh, I think they want to have success. I think this person uh, gets a lot of attention because they, they are successful. They may have had choices. They may have a choice between two people, you see. They're going to tell you the truth. This person's doing a lot of thinking. There's that Libra energy. Some of you have a choice between another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone's doing a lot of thinking. They're strategizing. This is someone who's up in their head. Someone can't stop thinking about you. So, wow. But I feel like this, what's happened is somebody was unsure. It does feel like past. Someone's reminiscing about their feelings. Some of you aren't sure now, though. i got to tell you about repeating the past here. There's a choice to be made. Someone regrets not connecting with you. Maybe you were just friends and they're coming in to tell you they've always been crazy about you. Tell me about the... Oops, there we go. Yeah, so you're kind of holding back here. You're looking at the details. You're looking to see if there's anything missing, that making sure everything is there. And I feel this is someone who's been holding on to you, but I feel as though you're going to hold back a bit. You're a little bit in protective mode. Not so sure. Yeah, you're going to hold back. You're not going to reciprocate to this person right away. Uh, I feel as though this is someone who maybe what didn't reciprocate in the past to you, uh, there's something to do with this emotional balance, this connection between two. Something may have been a little off. So I feel this is where you're going to make your choice, okay? Or it's them. But I feel is what it's it's basically saying. Make sure this person reciprocates because I see somebody holding back. Uh, maybe this person thought you were holding on to them for money because they're used to people giving them attention for that. Um but I feel like you're going to take your time replying to this person, this offer, this seed. This is the start of something. And I don't think you're going to rush into it. I feel there could be a little confusion. I do think this person had other options. They may be coming in to ask you if you're seeing anyone. Um, but I don't think you're going to be too sure. I feel like you're going to look at this. I think whatever it is they're going to share with you has to do with balance, emotional balance, to do with this Two of Cups, okay? That's what I feel. So I think you got someone who's actually been crazy about you for quite some time. Uh, I feel they made a choice possibly in the past. They may be kind of regretting it. So somebody who could probably maybe even choose as the wrong person. So someone strategizing, thinking, you see, that's their energy. Tell me about this King of Swords, but it's possible you have two people. If you have a choice, I feel like you'll make the right one because I think you're going to take your time. Yeah, so you're kind of waiting for something here. So I feel like there's something that you've been waiting for. I feel like you're looking elsewhere. So while you've been waiting for this person, you've been kind of looking out there. Some of you are looking for a responsible partner, someone who pulls their weight. Maybe this person didn't see that about you in the past and they chose another person because they're thinking about this. You see, they're looking at it. If this is all, if you've only got one person uh, that you can fit into this storyline, 
Uh, I feel this person's been crazy about you and they're going to tell you the truth. This is someone who's definitely focused on their success and finances. Maybe they didn't feel successful enough in the past. Maybe they didn't feel like they're ready and they're ready now. They may have held that back from you. It's also the truth. Maybe this is someone who didn't tell you they were successful because they wanted to make sure you were giving them attention for the right reasons. You see, they may be coming in to tell you the truth. It may have been a bit of a strategy because they wanted to make a responsible decision, but they may be feeling responsible for whatever's happened. So I see a few scenarios, but I think this has to do with emotional balance uh, between two people. This person wasn't giving. You're looking at all the details of this situation, this communication. This person wasn't reciprocating. They weren't sharing. You were doing all the giving and they weren't. And I think that was their strategy was to hide something here to do they were keeping something to themselves i don't feel like it was a lie they just weren't telling you they were financially successful maybe even quite wealthy so uh, because i think they were protecting themselves and i think they're going to share that with you uh, this is someone who's kind of been holding on though and i do feel they're somebody who's been a little stubborn okay holding back yeah they sabotage they were afraid to sacrifice something Everything that they've worked for, uh, they may get a lot of people who chase them, uh, chase them for uh, because they have money. Uh, maybe they felt that way about you, but they're going to tell you the truth. I think this person's crazy about you. Okay, so I do think they've messed up. I think they feel responsible. Uh, I feel this person is burdened by this, uh, but I actually feel that some of you have a choice here too. What is your choice going to be? concentrate on your work whoever comes in and puts the work in and the effort in i think you'll give that person you want somebody who puts the effort into communicating emotionally um, some of you may have another person that you work with you may have worked with whoever it is you worked with in the past is what i feel or um, whoever puts in the work with now this is somebody who regrets not putting in more effort to share their feelings to connect to spend time with you to give more because I think they sabotaged something and they feel responsible this person may have had a lot of financial responsibilities a lot of burdens a lot of weight on their shoulders at the time they may have been extremely focused on their money uh, their finances or a situation it has to do with a marriage or a commitment in the past possibly uh, some kind of contract or negotiation here uh, maybe a prenup, okay? They, there's definitely something there, but I think they're headed towards you. Um, you've got the opportunity to prepare, but this is your decision, your judgment. It looks like a reconciliation. Even if you're just friends, it's someone you worked with in the past and you haven't heard from. Uh, I feel they're coming in to start something. Tell me about this judgment. This person may have judged you wrong. Maybe they were, you know, that's what I kind of feel here. Someone was judge you wrong. Maybe they feel responsible. Uh, it's bothering them. Maybe you judge them wrong. I don't know. It could go both ways. Uh, judgment. Just focus on that because I want clarity. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, so this person wasn't telling you something. They were judging you. They were keeping it to themselves. I think this person made the wrong choice, a bad decision. Uh, I feel they were holding back something, something from their heart. I think they were telling you the truth, but they were holding back something. And I think they sabotaged this situation. They weren't willing to sacrifice something. Sabotage. They sabotage themselves, and they know it. Make sure that if they do come in, they tell you the whole truth, because I think that's what you're looking for in the communication. Yeah, so you're manifesting this person, I feel, too. Have you manifested this by turning your back, being strong and brave and moving away to find emotional fulfillment elsewhere? Because it looks like you might even have a couple of offers or you have um, some kind of a new opportunity. You want that emotional fulfillment, but I feel as though you're very strong, uh, I think you're actually emotionally stronger than this person and definitely emotionally stronger than you think. So I think this person's actually quite impressed with you. I feel they always have been, and I feel that this person was focused on uh, money and finance, some kind of past situation. So 
you know this person it, they could be in your energy right now so tell me about this four of wands this is their tradition their habit yeah this is someone who either rejected you or they weren't sure about commitment or marriage uh, if they were making the right choice this person may have rejected you maybe you're rejecting them uh, maybe they offered you something and it wasn't good enough but i think this person's kind of emotionally drained from this energy i do i think they've been thinking a lot about this see they're coming in to offer that cup so i feel they're coming in to offer something but i feel they weren't offering a whole lot they weren't really giving you a lot to know to make the right decision so i feel as though your decision's been kind of too uh, i think you got two people here some of you definitely um taurus virgo capricorn gemini libra aquarius energy maybe some leo cancer pisces scorpio Taurus. Wow. Yeah, there's a cycle ending. Things are about to start going in your favor. If this does, if this person comes in, it doesn't go in your favor. I feel as though you're uh, going to kind of keep it to yourself. But I think this person sabotaged. They were uh, drinking their own tears. I think this person, I definitely see kind of a martyr energy where somebody would rather keep their feelings to themselves and feel really sad than express something out of a. I, I think this person, it was money. And I know people hate hearing about that, but I mean, that's just a, a fact in relationships, especially the older you get. But I think this person feels responsible. Uh, I think this is somebody who didn't want the responsibility of a relationship at the time, or they had other responsibilities. They may have been paying um, child support, alimony, things like that. Okay, they may have not been ready. Yeah, this is about this person wasn't ready to invest. They were invested in themselves. I feel the timing wasn't right. Uh, I feel that you were patiently waiting for this person, but I feel as though you kind of moved on. Uh, I feel some of you are possibly reaching out to another person. This person's not going to get what they want unless they tell you the truth, and I do feel they're aware. Get yourselves ready because I feel like. <laughs> I think you're going to choose the person who puts the effort in. You're not repeating the mistakes of the past. You want that connection. You want a soulmate, somebody who puts in the effort. Uh, I actually think this person regrets. They think you're perfect, to be honest. Uh, I really do. So tell me about this Eight of Pentacles. There we go. Yes, yeah, this person's putting an end to something. There's some kind of a transformation. Uh, some of you are making a choice to end something with one person. Or it's just the end of um, this reminiscing. Some of you have a new crush, somebody very attractive. I think you're not really willing to put any more work into this with this person. This feels kind of sad, but this person isn't willing to give. If they're afraid to sacrifice anything, that you can't be the one to do all the sacrifices. That's what I kind of feel. So uh, I see teamwork, cooperation, and compromise. I see you going off on a new path. I see you, you know, there's going to be a reason to celebrate. I feel as though there's you know, definitely this new path um socializing going out with friends and family uh, and meeting new people i see an ending i see a transformation energy i think some of you have changed how you feel about this person um, even if you still have feelings for them i think you're going to keep it to yourself i'm not so sure you're going to share a whole lot with them uh, because i don't i feel like it's time to put an end to this cycle yeah it's up to you to decide always it's your decision with that judgment if you want to reconcile or if you're going to move on but i see the ending i see the transformation this person you may give them a chance possibly some of you may give this person a chance if they put the effort in it could transform but if not you're moving on yeah so if there's lack you're moving on if they come in with lack uh, i don't think you want somebody who um, comes in with lack maybe this person feels there was something lacking i think there's money involved here uh, and i think it's more of a past and it doesn't have to mean years it could be uh, six weeks six months six years you know it it i, I feel like it's reminiscing uh, some of you have a new crush i actually feel like you have somebody who's crushing on you um 
but I feel like there's something lacking with this person and I feel like they uh, I don't know maybe they ghosted you or they didn't see your value or they made you feel like you weren't good enough so I think you're kind of I think you've kind of changed how you feel I think you're ready to put an end to this cycle maybe you're crazy about this person uh, and you never really got what you wanted because they weren't offering much but I think you're moving towards getting what you want Let's see, Gemini, what is this Three of Cups? Where is this going to lead you? You may travel in the same social circle as this person, too. Uh, you may ha share friends. Yeah, So there is definitely trusting your intuition, being very wise. You know everything you need to know. Uh, I feel as you, this person, I wonder if this person, I think you know um, everything you need to know about this person and I think you're going to be wise and move on I think you've got somebody else around you I think you have another person crushing or you have another crush but there's lack it's time to put an end to this lack some of you are lonely uh, I think you're tired of uh, either waiting for this person uh, I think you're weighing the pros and the cons comparing this person if you have a new person you could be comparing this a person from the past to the new person so but i i feel as though you have a new crush and i think you're weighing the pros and the cons it's someone quite attractive uh, and i think you're tired of being lonely i think you're tired of waiting i think this person is definitely having regrets though and i think this is where maybe you're thinking you don't want to uh, repeat mistakes of the past to get caught up in this energy with this person okay yeah, you're in protective mode. You're doing your due diligence. You're being wise here is what I feel. You're making your own decision and your own choice. Uh, you're rising above this. You're kind of like looking down at this energy, right? This reminiscing. These are your thoughts, things from the past. But I think you're doing your due diligence. You're protecting yourself. Yeah, I think you're moving on here. But yeah, so you're ready for change, you see. Yeah, you're setting yourself free. Uh, and I think you're going to be very wise. You're, I think some of you are learning to trust your intuition as well. Uh, I think there's this person. I feel you know this person had feelings. But the thing is, is they didn't choose you. They, choose, they chose somebody else. Uh, I don't think, I think you waited patiently for this person. Uh, I think their time is kind of up here and I feel as though you're making the responsible decision for yourself to uh, move on. Um, you're not getting what you want from this person and that's the truth. That's what I feel. Even if you're crazy about them, I think you're stronger than this person and this energy, this connection. So something is becoming illuminated, you see, very clear. This is someone who's never going to offer you what you want, okay? If you repeat this, it's going to happen all over again is what I feel. Whoa, tough reading, yeah. So there's something about pleasure, yeah. This person's really just, I feel like they're kind of all about themselves. They just want to come towards you when they want attention. I think they have an ego. I think they do get a lot of attention. I think this person's used to being chased. They wanted you to chase them. I don't think you did. But I feel as though you are moving on to something better. I see greener pastures. I see you moving through that gate, choosing a new path. Because I think you're becoming very wise. So I love this energy. This is a journey. You know, love is a journey. Love is a tough situation. And sometimes it can be very draining. Uh, but this is where you have to learn to accept sometimes, where someone is just sort of that energy vampire. They keep coming in. Uh, just when you're ready to move on, here they come, okay? And you may have been obsessed with this person. You may have been very much in love with them, but they weren't reciprocating. And I do think they... They regret it. I do think it was self-sabotage, but I don't think you're ever going to get what you want from them. Uh, I think this is this person. I think they, they regret not committing, uh, but I think this person is someone who uh, drains you. I feel as though you know it's just going to happen again. Tell me about this wisdom. Yeah, so you know you're not trusting this person. You feel like they're a bit of a player. I think you figured this person out, that they're sneaky, uh, that they're going to come back in and they're going to sort of play this game. They are crazy about you, but they're protecting themselves, their money. They don't want to share anything. Um, they absolutely don't. 
I think they come in with lack and I actually feel this person acts like they at some point I think they acted like they didn't have money and they did and I think you figured them out now that they were being sneaky I think you know but I feel like for some reason uh, you don't like the way they conduct themselves the way they behave okay and that's where I feel is what you're looking at as much as you may have feelings I think it's time for change I think you've changed how you feel because of that energy so there you go okay but it's always up to you to decide you know but I think you know I think you know everything you need to know uh, I think this person I think you're figuring it all out and I think they know you figured them out too but I don't think that'll stop this person from trying again because I think they're ruled by their ego uh, I think this person has some very unhealthy habits and patterns uh, it's a pattern it's something they keep doing okay and it's not just you I feel like it's other people so I feel there's this healing chaos so it's a little chaotic it's coming very quick but I actually feel like you're releasing it so let's see who's coming in next I do see a choice between two but I for most of you I feel like it's this person um, some of you might be leaving a Taurus Virgo Capricorn behind you maybe moving towards a Leo I see some Sag um, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy I feel like you're waiting for something here you're waiting but you're looking elsewhere I feel as though you're ending a situation. This is where you look out into the future. You have to be responsible for your own choices. If you've been waiting for someone, you have to take responsibility for that. So it's sort of saying don't waste any more time. Okay, make that decision. Do what you feel is right for you. Trust your intuition how you feel, okay, about this person. I don't know if you could trust this person. Um, and I, I, I don't know what they did. I don't know if they were juggling or making a choice or what the heck their issue was. But I feel as though you're healing this. You're on this journey and this voyage. I feel like this, you would not be able to trust this person. I think healing this, uh, forgiving this person is just a little out of reach. But you, it's for each of you to decide. If you feel like this is out of reach, if it doesn't feel right, uh, that you need to move past this. Because I don't, I don't know if you can trust this person. I think you're moving forward. Yeah, I think you're moving towards somebody new. I'm trying to figure out who it is, and it's taking me in circles. So it's with the high priestess there. It may not yet be known who the new person is, or you do have a new person and a new crush. Um, or you have somebody who is crushing on you that wants to start something. Uh, it's also, I feel, overall, this person, it's sort of like whenever you just about give up, they come back around again. But I feel like you've gone through a lot of change. I feel like you're moving towards something better, a new person. Uh, there's a, a cycle ending and a new cycle beginning, yeah. So I don't think, I think you're moving away. Uh, I think you've changed. I think you're transforming. Uh, I think there's this beautiful butterfly energy. I love this when it comes out in the end like this. See, you're moving towards this transformation. You're moving towards something new, okay? And I feel like your love life is about to transform. I think you've changed. If this person comes around, I don't think you're going to feel the same. You may be quite surprised. Yeah, so there's that freedom. You're setting yourself free. And... Uh, <laughs> All right, Gemini, very nice energy. I see love in the future. I don't know if they're going to be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, it's possible they could be a Scorpio. Uh, I do feel a little because of that transformation energy, but I also see a Leo energy. But I see you just setting yourself free. I see you getting out there, meeting new people. Yeah, I see emotional fulfillment in the future. I see a reason to celebrate. I think you're going to end up feeling emotionally fulfilled. Um, yeah, so I feel as though you're just focusing on yourself. You've changed your focus, and that's how you're doing it. And uh, so you are focusing on you. Gemini, yeah. So there is something definitely here, some kind of delight, some kind of news, some kind of communication. Uh, listen to your your instinct okay so I, this is a beautiful energy and I feel as though you're actually releasing yourself from someone that you are maybe very much in love with um, I think this person's kind of draining I feel like um, there's just something unacceptable draining there's something here and I actually feel like you have someone who may have rejected you uh, and maybe even married another person and then they're coming back around is kind of how it feels 
crazy reading. All right, Gemini, I wish you the best. I do feel there's going to be some kind of communication, okay? Uh, something delightful to do with this new beginning that's taken you on this path. I think you have a crush. I think you have somebody who's very sweet on you, thinks you're adorable. Um, I feel as though it really could be the one. They see you. There's something about you. They find you very sexy and attractive. This is all that energy under here, that new crush. You may be weighing the pros and the cons, or you may be comparing this new person to this past. But see, there's something lacking. Okay, some of you are lonely. I think you're tired of sort of sitting there waiting, uh, drinking your own tears. It's done now. It's finished. It's been a struggle. It's been a challenge. But you know that there's something off. There's something lacking with this person. So take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. But don't sacrifice everything you worked for to start over with someone who's going to do the same thing. So take care. Bye for now.